podcast.co.uk. So today we're going to catch a rabbit. Um, we've got a nice big enclosure here where the rabbits can run around, graze, sunbathe. We've got wood in here for them to chew on, which is really nice and natural. Uh, so first of all, what we've got to do is we've got to think about what's going on in the enclosure and what could possibly be dangerous to us before we try to catch the rabbit. So we're going to move any bits of wood that are in the way out to the side so we don't trip over them. We're being nice and calm and quiet. We're not jumping about. We're not, we're not making lots of noise. We're just being nice and calm in our movements. So we put everything off to one side. Hopefully then we've got a clear area where we can get hold of the rabbits. Now the reason that we want to get hold of a rabbit today is to do a health check, but other reasons might be that it's injured, that we're going to take it to a, a show, that we want to groom it, or that you just want to cuddle your pet bunny. But you need to do that in the right way. So it's really important to learn how to pick up a rabbit and catch a rabbit properly. Now I remember when I first started thinking about rabbits, I'd go in running in with my hands stretched out and actually what quite often they think you are is a big old eagle. So you're going to come in and you're going to take them away and they are a prey animal. So that poor rabbit is going to think you're there to, to um, catch it and kill it. Okay. So what you want to do is make it realise that it's not going to be killed and eaten but it's actually going to have a good experience. So what we want to do is we want to try to get the rabbit to go into an area or a corner where we can actually just catch him really easily. So this is the accommodation that's in this enclosure. This is a nice big hutch. Um, it's not the traditional tiny little hutch. It's a nice big place that the rabbit can get out of the wind and the rain and the elements and have a good sleep and be safe. They've gone in through the hole. So what I'm going to do is go in through the door because I won't fit through the hole. And I'm going to try and catch my rabbit in here now. So there you can see your rabbit inside. Okay, so the rabbit's now in the enclosure. So first of all, I've got to move things to the side and get the food bowls out of the way. You can see that they've actually had all their breakfast and it's all empty, but I want to just make sure that I don't break any of those or trip over on any of those. Okay, so I'm just keeping my hand keep the rabbit out of the way. And I've got myself now down nice and low. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to approach the rabbit nice and gently from behind. I'm just going to get my hand on the scruff of its neck. And as you can see, it's quite happy. I can just bring him over to me now. I'm going to change hands because I'm left handed. Okay. And I pop my hand almost like a V underneath the back and try to grab hold of the back feet. Okay. So I've got the bunny by the scruff and by the back feet. And as you can see, he's quite nice and happy. I haven't got the ears, I haven't got the tail. Okay, that's really bad to do that to a rabbit. They wouldn't like it at all. You can imagine somebody pulling you by the ears. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna turn him round and I'm gonna get him to nestle in against my chest, not too high up, okay? And not too low down, so that he doesn't go over my shoulder, but he also doesn't feel insecure. They will struggle a little bit sometimes. Ooh, there we go. And we just keep control. Make sure we've got control of those back legs. Ooh, there we are. Okay. Some rabbits actually like to come down here and nestle, but do be careful because sometimes they will bite your arms. Okay. So he's just going to sit there. I've just got a nice little grip on the, on the scruff and just let him settle down and calm.